Hello everybody, Doug here. In this brief video, I'll introduce you to some of the main settings that Brian May uses on his digital effects processor units when playing Queen songs live, so you can reproduce them for yourself with the same or similar equipment. I won't discuss the components in Brian's stage rigs because there's a good overview on Premier Guitar's 2014 rig rundown video. I made a video showing assembly of my rig two years ago in June 2021, and I'll put links to both of these in the description below. I have a similar setup to Brian's touring and guesting mini rig, which was built by Nigel Knight of Knight Audio Technologies in June 2019, so that his equipment technician, Pete Malandrone, could transport it without Queen Road Crew when Brian was playing in concerts in smaller venues, such as the Kerry Ellis Candlelight Tour. These photographs show it next to Brian's main stage rig. My rig was built by Nigel in 2013 for Andy Barnett and was tested by Pete using Brian's Vox AC30 amplifiers in his equipment store at Allerton Hill, as you can see in this sequence of photographs taken by Nigel. Pete also copied over the processor settings I'm going to show you shortly from one of Brian's own TC Electronic G Major units. Both mine and Brian's mini rigs have two TC Electronic G Major 2 digital effects processor units, a Dunlop DCR 2SR Crybaby rack mounted module including expression pedal, CAT custom audio router and MIDI controller rack units, and Sennheiser analog wireless receivers. Brian's rigs have a hand operated switching unit mounted on top, whereas mine has a floor mounted unit mounted in a galvanised steel waste bin. Nigel also incorporated the electronics from the Digitech Red Special pedal into Brian's mini rig. OK, let's finish up by looking at the settings themselves then. If you head over to my website, dsgb.net, at the link shown in the bottom left of the screen, you can download these settings as an Adobe PDF file. They include the global settings for the unit and nine Queen specific settings, which include Brian's Chorus, which he uses 99% of the time, and Phaser modes. The other settings are delays for his traditional Brighton Rock style guitar solo, which requires three amplifiers, Seven Seas of Rye, Tenement Funster, Days of Our Lives, A Kind of Magic, and a pitch shift for The Show Must Go On. That's all for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Please take a look at my other YouTube videos and my website for more in-depth information on Brian May's guitars and musical equipment.